Told you, too open. <laughs> too open. going because it's that his activity level that has really led to some productivity for him up top here is thomas out of omaha the freshman with the left hand but his offensive explosion here in the it's zeroed in with the rebound the more stops and defensive rebounds Creighton can get and get out and run and transition the better they'll be because this is what they like to do all right there cole Huff, leading scorer injured his shoulder four guards on the floor that can knock down triples zeroed in the corner Watson leading away. Well, Osborne hasn't taken many this year, but he's seven for 11 from downtown. Driving, pulled up, toss. And that's where Heaster has to be bothering a little bit of, of a sprained AC joint. Banged it up in the oil again. Watson strips it, up in transition, crosses over and through. Showed it looked all right there. Defense turning into offense. Activity from Creighton. Not a Ice cream for Watson. Zeroden puts up a three. And he buries it. Sophomore, uh, sophomore out of Wisconsin on the floor now. Zeroden feeds it low. Hands in the right hand. Getting out 22 feet away from the basket. See if Osborne can knock down some shots. They should load in Thomas. Thomas with an early. Andrew pass to Brennan. Here comes Albert. No numbers, slows it down. Deep three, Hector. It's now two times you've seen trailer threes. Here comes Zierden. Gives it up. Milliken kicks it back up top. Milliken's first time on the floor today. Zeroed in from the wing. Zeroed in's second three ball today. He's got six points. What? Some players have gone, well, you know, what do you know about it? Well, Jason uh, Carter knows a thing or two about it. He knows. Harrell goes up and under, and it's tapped in by Hanson. Combs getting it done to the line. He's now got eight points. The last four from the stripe. Watson trying to stay high. Can't get it to fall. And he gets it right back. Watson circles underneath. Skip pass, right hand off the glass and through by Hanson. Great job by Hanson to go. Malik Albert to Harrell, buries it for the three. The two guys that haven't. The entire season coming into today, he's much better from 15 to 18 feet. We mentioned that the first half did not end well for the Blue Jays as Grissel gets doubled up on the block. Picks it out. Hegner from the wing buries a three. Well, because of the foul, kind of just catch and shoot that one. See how he hesitated, disrupted his rhythm, and missed it. Osborne, one of a number of transfers from Loyola. Grissel off the glass. It's a good place for Creighton to go. Grissel inside. Because the double teams are good. The pressure, full court. Watson breaks it. Trying to go all the way to the right. Thomas off the screen. Over to Watson. Thomas pulls up. This in front of the free throw line. His first point to shoot it. It's a big part of what IUPUI does. We talked about the transfers helping the Jaguars earlier. He's one of them. Thomas, the feed, Grissel the finish. Again, just break it. Nine from Jason Gardner to get a seam and hit it. Straight away, three, Hagner. That's his third. That's that Combs, feeds. And a big rebound ripped down by Thomas. He took on Brennan, who's got about six inches on him. And now on the other end, he finishes. Sets up Zierden for the three, and he buries it. Another opportunity.
Obviously, up early in Mike Hansen's activity level. Good hard dives to the basket there. Stealing a second chance opportunity with a tip out. Hegner, deep three. Well, here's the predicament that IUPUI's in because of 69% from the floor. Now the Blue Jays have made eight of their last 11 shots. We'll see if they can keep that going. They do. Zierden. Just turnovers without getting yourself in bad positions for a foul standpoint. Now the Jaguars' 13 first half fouls have been much better here in the second half. Only two. Milliken can't get it to fall. No foul called. Archie. Front iron. And Zierden comes up with it. Hegner just saved a basket by sprinting out of the double team and contesting a shot and turning it down. Milliken able to rattle it through from the corner. It's time to get a rest. Head fake. Zierden will take the three. Creighton has absolutely shred. Watson penetrates, tucks off the glass. But that's all Manu, what he's going to have to play like. Getting his teammates involved, manufacturing shots for people, good post feed for Hanson there. That's how he's going to have to play, Aaron. He's going to have to. Osborne fighting for it. Pickett comes up with it for now. Thomas pushing the bounce pass. Milliken, and it counts. It's a blocking foul. Boy, Tyree Thomas just for the junior out of Detroit. And this is where he's typically a, a scoring guard. Now he's having to run a team. But he can do that. Aaron pulls up and drains it. Makes you better and playing so much good competition that it ends up really harming your team. As an easy flush, Malik Albert. So there's no doubt I think you want to go out and challenge yourself in the non-conference, but under a minute. Finals week coming up for Creighton. And then as we mentioned, the date in Oklahoma against the Sooners. That'll be a big test for Creighton at the shot clock horn.